Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today we are going to be looking at a contraption that I am especially proud of. I call it the Secret Fireplace Door. So right over here I got uh, the door with just the redstone, no decorative parts, and over there I have the door all covered up, decorated, and looking nicely. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Well guys, before we actually uh, look at any of the rest, I actually want to show you guys how this works. So as you can see, this is all decorated. You can see it looks like a fireplace. It has the fire, it has the back wall, it has like a little guard railing so you can't get in. So for anyone that walks by, they would look at it and, oh hey look, it's a fireplace, keep walking by. But, uh, like I did with right over here, this block right here has wrestling going into it. So if you have a lever on you, which if you want to open the door, you need one. All you need to do is place it right there and flick it. As you can see, the entire door just gets out of the way and you can just walk and go through here, pick up all your items, and then you could walk back. And here is the part that I love so much about that fireplace. I could have just made it where the doors close up and you have to like take flint and steel, but no. When you flick it, it closes up and it lights it by, by itself at all, completely. So there's no lighting involved. All you need to do is flick, open close flick open the only thing you'll need to replace and that's very rarely is the flint and steel in here as you can see I've used this for a very long time and it's not even halfway done so yeah if we go look at the rest one over here and before we do I just want to say real quick the blue blocks in the building are the building blocks and the white blocks are all the blocks that have to do anything with redstone and obviously the red in the nether rack is just for the fire so this is literally the exact same copy, but without any of the decorative blocks. As you can see up here, this is practically like the motherboard of the entire contraption. This lever over here, once you flick it, it does turn this off. And that means it does turn off these pistons right here, and it opens up the door. But at the same time, the redstone kind of like stares down all the way down here, and retracts the slabs and uh, the nether rack, which means we can just walk on through. When we flick it back on, this activates these pistons, activates that to light it again, comes down here, pulls the slabs up, pulls the netherrack up, fires it, and bam, there you go. As you can see, that's how it works. At first, it may seem complicated, but really, it's not. And I'm not actually going to be building this on camera today, so just take a good look at it. It's actually pretty simple to build. Just start with the top over here and go down. And as always with these kinds of buildings, there are always pros and cons. So, look at the pros first. It's secret. So, if you take the lever off, there's no way anyone would know this would, would, this would be a redstone door. It's co almost completely hidden. I mean, they might look in these dispensers, but oh, there's flint and steel. Well, that, yeah, that's for the fire. That's pretty reasonable. Also, it protects your stuff. So, as it is so secret, it will do a good job of protecting your stuff, and you probably won't get stolen unless someone griefs your house, and then. Yeah, I don't think that'll fix it. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the cons. It's a very bulky build. Um, there's redstone doors that are almost like 10 times smaller than this, so this isn't the most practical secret, but it is the. In my opinion, one of the most cool looking ones, and if you really do want to impress your friends, you could just say, hey look, this is a door, haha, <laughs> and then you could trick them. Also, not particularly useful. So, other than being a door, you could build very uh, less expensive secret doors, but again, it's just really because it looks so sweet. Uh, more decorative. So you can uh, dress this up any way you want these blocks. You could turn these blocks into any sorts of blocks. You can add more decoration. If you wanted to, you could just like do that and just <laughs> spam things so people won't notice. But anyway, yeah, you can decorate this in almost any way you want. And it's a decently high cost. So it's not like super high cost. It doesn't have 20 pistons, 7 dispensers, but 6 sticky pistons. Uh, two dispensers, a couple flint and steel, a couple repeaters, and some redstone. So other than that, it's not too expensive. But also, just a note, half slab next to the fire isn't needed. It's there for decoration, but it makes it look more realistic. So if we go in this chest, we can see we have the slab and the sticky piston right over here. 
this right here isn't particularly needed. If you really wanted to, because you're picky, you can actually take this out and just replace this right here with uh, any other block like that. And it'll still work the exact same way. But in my opinion, it is more realistic if you do add uh, the railing right here so nobody can like snoop in or anything. And it just looks more realistic. Well guys, this is going to be the end of this redstone episode. If you guys really do want me to build this on camera, I will gladly do it. You just gotta tell me in the comments. Also, if you have any questions or any help, put them in the comments. I'll try to ans answer them the best I can. But anyway guys, this has been Aquagear. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.